<coughs> Man. Kind of early today. Um, this is my new Glock range bag. Uh, it's just a little range bag. It's perfect when you go into an indoor range. You don't need all that shit. You know what I mean? I have another range bag that uh, has all kinds of pockets and cushions and this and that and this and that. You don't need all that shit. Um, if you're just going to bring one pistol and one box of ammo. Uh, my 45s, I'm a little stingy with them. I don't like shooting them a lot because uh, these are my shit hit the fan ammunition. And uh, I heard a guy say, well, that's for Target. Well, when it comes to 45 ACP, pal, you can use it for both because it doesn't penetrate. Uh, I'm not recommending you do that, but uh, if the shit hit the, hit the fan, and uh, who has thousands of rounds of hollow points? Really, dude? But seriously, uh, the 45 ACP don't, uh, don't penetrate and go through. Um, that's it. So, I mean, you can stock up on these and use them for an emergency, of what I'm saying. Um, this gun's been real good to me. It's the Colt 80 series commander size. And um, it's a unique pistol because the beaver tail has a different look to it. See how it's not, see how it's square? And then the hammer has a, a unique look to it. You don't see that too often, the way the hammer's shaped. And uh, that's why I liked it. It's when I first seen it, and I really liked it. Little that I know is going to be one of my most reliable handguns in the safe. Pretty amazing. So we're going to put another box of ammo through this. As you know, we got 600 rounds through it. We got 160 hollow points through it, and we're going to add another 50 to it today. And um, as far as my shit hit the fangs guns, this is one of them. And as far as my shit hit the fans ammunition goes, it's 45 ACP, and I don't like shooting a lot of my 45 ACP. I really don't. I want to have a lot of that on hand for you never know. And uh, that and my AK, that's why I buy a lot of 7.62 and I buy a lot of 45 ACP because they're, they're my two go-to calibers if I had a problem. That's just me. A lot of you guys might say, nah, I like my 9mm and I'm going to go to my 40. I'm going to use my... Um, AR-15, that's fine, whatever you, you think's comfortable. You always go with what you're most comfortable with, because comfortableness equals confidence, and confidence equals success when you're doing something. So you just go with what you feel best. I don't want to get into a video about that's a whole different video. Um, this is what I usually use in here for home defense, is the uh, PDX-1 hollow points. They're great hollow points for 1911s. They feed very well because there's no sharp edges and they're very rounded off. They feed in, up into the feed ramp really smooth. Um, so I just take them out, put them aside. Pistol's empty. And that's it. We're going to the range. I just want to show you this new Glock bag that Mike has at double action. They're only $10. And it's perfect just for a quick get up and go range bag. Alright guys, I'm back at double action again. Got, it's got a lot of nice stuff here, a lot of new rifles. It's got three uh, Ruger 1022 takedowns. A lot of people are looking for these. They're hard to get because they're just selling like hotcakes right now. Also, you get this beautiful case that comes with it. And uh, pretty sweet. This is for the uh, Olympic shooting team. Pretty sure. Yes. USA shooting team, only 500 made. There's your price, 389. 5,000. Five I'm oh, sorry, 5,000 5, made. I was gonna say that's pretty rare. 5,000 made, 389, and you get the uh, the case, the bag with it. That's really nice. He's They're got three. They're all serial here. number too, Pete. They're all serial number. Yeah, with the word gold and then the number. Cool. So they're collectible. Yeah. Okay. Down here we got two new Sig Sauer ARs which is called the Sig Sauer M400 with the enhanced carbine 5.56 five, and you get one 30 round PMAG for 979 that's a good price for a Sig Sauer AR platform you guys know it's top notch man they also have just got this uh, Colt carbine 5.56 carbine, five, five, and you get two uh, two 20 round mags 
a sling, a cleaning kit, and it's 11.50. And there it is. Colts are sweet ARs. We all know that. Looks like you got a mag pull. Looks like a mag pull adjustable stock on the bottom. I don't know if that's a mag pull, guys. I'm really not sure. It looks like it. I know that the Sig Sours they look like mag pull, but there you have a Colt there, and then you have a Colt. I mean the uh, the Core 15 M4 223556. It'll shoot both calibers. You get one 30 round P mag for 7.95, and it's got the over molded hand guards, and they're the you know the flat matte finished ones. Really nice, really nice they are. So just wanted to show you guys that, and Mike is now carrying ballistol. A lot of guys look for ballistol and it's hard to find. You guys know it's the best gun cleaner there is. I've been telling you about it and telling you about it, but it's you have to get it on the internet, but if you live in the Delaware Valley, you can come to Double Action and get Ballastall now. Isn't that nice? Instead of having to uh, order off the internet or going to Midway USA, you can just walk right into Double Action and get a can of Ballastall. I think he sells them for uh, eight, eight something a can. Very reasonable. And he's got the little mini cans too that you can put in your range bags. Look at that. Pretty sweet. I even have uh, some, some of the wipes too. You got the little wipies too, right? Yeah, over here. Okay. Got a box They'll be perfect for my buddy Eric's butt. He's always getting a chapped ass all the time. He's like a little baby. <laughs> 50 cents a pack. 50 cents they're a wipe. They're really wipey. great too. Yeah, they're cool. Well, they're if great. You use a, if you use a uh, plastic baggie, you can actually reuse them. Yeah, yes, you can because yeah. they, they stay wet. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's great. They're like little samples too. If you yeah. want a sample, and if you like it, you can go buy a can. I'm I swear by this stuff. I'm also getting frog lube in. All right. Oh, you're getting frog lube in too. Yeah. All right. It should be here by. Um, that, that's good to know because I like frog lube. Um, right now, I'm in the process of uh, with frog lube, and uh, I can't give you a, a firm decision on it yet. But as of right now, it's working. It's working awesome. It's, it's really. It really does what it says. But I can't say it's the best and this and that yet. But uh, it's it's uh, I'm really happy with it. I got it on two of my Glocks. I'm going to do my AR with it next. See how that runs. It's just going to take a while before I could give you guys a definite, you know. But I can tell you right now, it's definitely a good product. Right. Oh, I got some guns on consignment too, right, Mike? Yep. What is that? Smith and Wesson Model 34, 22 long rifle. Yeah. Is that nickel or a high power stainless? Nah, it's nickel plate. Okay, nickel it's, finish. Yeah, it says it right on there, dude. Yeah. You look, look at the tag, you dummy. I'm talking six shot, four fifty. Well, that's that's good. Four fifty. It's a four inch barrel. How about I get the gun in frame? That's pretty. Yeah, they're really nice. And then this is a Smith and Wesson, uh, Mr. Forty for that bullet's gonna love that one. Smith and Wesson uh, uh, model thirty eight. Yeah, it's also nickel finish. It's, it's an air weight. Definitely. Nickel finished. That thing's beautiful. Three ninety five. That's pretty sweet. And then under here we got a 1911. It's a Colt 38 Super. It's a Combat Commander. Yeah, that's also a nickel finish. It's a satin nickel. Does that say one nine round mag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, because it's a 38. I'm 38, like, well, I'm yeah. so used to the 45, 825. Used, it's on consignment. And I'm looking at it, looks very, very, very good condition, I would say that's in. I don't see anything wrong with it. Nope. And uh, here's a, a Taurus tracker. Yeah. Sounds like a Jeep. Yeah, 45 long colt. Yeah, 45 long colt. Is that, is, does it, will it shoot 410 or is it just, no, four, just 40, 45 okay, long colt? Yep. For 350. All right, guys, look at this. We got a, uh, a Kimber 38 Super. That is the medium size 1911, which which is like a four inch barrel, or in Colt terms, it's the commander size. 950 bucks. It's got the bull barrel, no bushing. Uh, stainless bead blasted stainless steel, very nice. And uh, it's the Kimber 38 Special Pro Carry. Oh, HD too. That which means heavy duty, right? So that means it's all steel. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. 38 Super. And I just want to show, I just, I just can't believe this is still here. <laughs>
Dude, if I had the money, this would be gone like a month ago. Yeah, I found it's a couple Smith of people Wesson. interested in it. Yeah, this I Smith think it's because it's such a long barrel that, you know, kind of freaks yeah, people but out. The, but, I mean, that's a great gun to shoot, man. Yeah, that thing's I, awesome. I don't, it's... It's a great, it's a great 1911. I used to have one, and that price is great. Crimson Trace grips for 950 with a Smith and Wesson. Yeah, correct. 1911. The, the grips alone are like 300 bucks. Right, and plus it's got a scandium frame, so it's it's not that heavy. All right, Mike. Thanks for letting us see your new stuff here. Yeah, no problem. All I right. got some stuff coming in, so we'll Same. see what happens. All right, and Mike now carries ballast all. All right, guys. I'm here at Double Action with my Colt Commander and we're shooting this nickel brass ammo using an ACMAG beautiful parkerized ACMAG my buddy sent me I love this thing alright let's see what we can do Nice tight group. It's high. So far, the uh, commander's running flawless. Got one flyer. Because it kind of went wild there for a minute, I guess. Well, as usual, the Colt shoots awesome. I'm really cold right now. I mean, it's just like, you know, that's expected with a 1911. That's the kind of results you get. All one big hole. Two nice groups, all one big hole. That's what I like to see. 